Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of Nintendo Switch's game announcements for the second week of October, so let's get started. Our first game announcement came to us from Marvelous, confirming that Fate Extella Link is releasing on Switch January 31st. This action game is a sequel to Umbral Star, with even more characters, online multiplayer, and local 4v4 battles. Drinkbox Games revealed on Twitter that the Metroidvania action platformer Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition would be shadow dropped in the eShop that very same day, featuring same screen co op and brand new content. Then quickly follow that announcement up with the confirmation that Wakamele 2 is also releasing on Switch this December. This player has more robust game systems which include a 4 player drop in and drop out co op. Offering a vast area to explore with over 3000 kilometers spread in over 250 races, Gear Club Unlimited 2 is set to release worldwide on December 4th, including 51 cars from over 22 different manufacturers. Future Grand is a stylish stunt racer, using your motorcycle keep the combo going as you ride color-coded rails, featuring over 30 tracks and 6 unique 3D environments. The story-driven puzzler Will A Wonderful World is released on October 18th, where characters can influence not only the story but the puzzles themselves in each playthrough. Monster Energy Supercross The Official Video Game 2 is released on February 8th, including a new career mode over 80 real-life drivers from the 2018 Championship Series and a fully revamped track editor. During a Nico Nico livestream, Aquastyle confirmed that Toho Genso Wanderer Lotus Labyrinth is releasing April 25th, and a collector's edition is also planned. An ESRB rating has appeared for Corpse Party Blood Drive on the Switch. Released originally on the PlayStation Vita, the survival horror adventure game puts you in the shoes of school students attempting to escape a gruesome situation. Fitness Boxing is releasing January 4th. We've seen this game listed in several classifications boards in a few countries, so it's nice to finally get confirmation from Nintendo. The beat em up brawler with an imaginative story, fun mini games, and retro visuals, The Friends of Ringo Ishikawa is releasing early next year. The best way to describe this game is a pixel art Yakuza. Announced in the latest issue of Famitsu, Destruction is set to release this fall, featuring over 10 characters and multiple game modes. A successful Kickstarter project for the Darkseid Detective Season 2 was just completed and is aiming for a Switch release in early 2020. According to the developer, Season 2 picks up from the cliffhanger at the end of Season 1. Released in October 19th, The Legend of Evil is a side-scrolling tower defense game where you're helping the Demon King not only amass a collection of demons but also destroy the world. Rotalkia Games announced that the poorly titled Shadow of Loot Box is heading to the Switch. This is a parody voxel first-person shooter that's poking fun at microtransactions. Announced and released this week, the visual novel Irish School of Wizardry Venunculum Hearts is the latest Opera House localization we've seen spring up on the eShop. Mamunga Pinball Adventures is released on October 18th. This game was previously available on the Wii U. D3 Publisher is bringing the Otome visual novel Nightshade to the Switch on December 20th in Japan. It's worth noting that it will contain English language support, so a release on the American and European eShop is expected. Nerd Monkeys confirmed on their site that both the point and click adventure games, Detective Kiss and Clownbot and Murder in the Hotel Lisbon, and its sequel, Detective Kiss and Clownbot and the Express Killer, are both heading to the Switch next year. Originally released on the 3DS, Touch Detective Fun Guy's Big Breed is getting a remaster and releasing on Switch on December 20th. This puzzle game will have a Switch exclusive 2 player Joy Con split screen mode. Listed on the Japanese eShop, the horizontal shooter Sengoku Cannon is releasing on October 18th. This game was also originally known as Sengoku Ace Episode 3. The colorful puzzle game Crick 2 Games Nintendo Switch Edition is releasing November 3rd, featuring both docked and handheld mode options. And that's all the game announcements we'll be covering this week. Another low impact week when it comes to announcements, and it seems like we're cruising this month without any crazy news. But we'll find out in a few weeks just how many Switches have been sold, as Nintendo has to report their sales figures in an investors meeting. So that should be very interesting. So with all that said, as per always, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate the support. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!